Hi, I'm Tom and Homi from Dell EMC. This video will show the steps involved in installing the Dell EMC Parstore CSI driver on Red Hat OpenShift platform and deploying persistent cloud native applications on top of it. OpenShift Container Platform 4.2 introduces support for the CSI driver. This is a plugin that is installed into Kubernetes to provide persistent storage operations for storage systems. Kubernetes version 1.14 and CSI API version 1 are built into OpenShift Container Platform 4.2. OpenShift 4.2 and above supports the Dell EMC to CSI driver for both physical and virtual environments using both FC and iSCSI protocols. This environment will be connected to a newly installed Dell EMC Parser array. I'm running the OC create command and specifying the manifest file which contains the CSI driver and my parser array details. As you can see, within a few seconds, the CSI driver pods are up and running on each OpenShift Kubernetes node. By navigating to the parser UI, we can see that OpenShift iSCSI portals have been detected and registered on the storage array automatically as part of the plugin installation. Now, let's create a stateful application. For the purpose of this demo, I'm deploying a cloud native database called YugaByteDB, which consists of three master nodes and three worker nodes. Each has a persistent volume claim, which equals to a single volume on the parser array. I'm creating the application by running the OC create command and specifying the manifest file of this application. The parser CSI driver is responsible for creating the volumes at the array level, mapping them to the worker nodes, formatting them with a specific file system based on the application requirements that specified in the PVC section in the manifest file, and mounting the volumes on the pods. From the parser UI, we can see that the volumes have been created and mapped to the Kubernetes nodes. Now, let's scale our application and create 50 pods in total. As we can see, pods are being scheduled while the volumes are being created and mapped to the nodes. This provides the user the tremendous flexibility to scale his application up and down to fit the performance needs automatically and efficiently without the need to manually interact with the storage array. I hope you will find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.